Hi, I'm Matthew Stanley, and I will be going over the arts, humanities, and media portion or cluster with you guys today. Um, so to start off, uh, um, obviously it starts stands for arts, humanities, and media. We'll be starting off with the art portion and the fine arts department, um, <clears throat> which includes uh, drama, music, and visual and commercial art. Uh, all of these programs are located in the Lady Bird Johnson uh, Fine Arts Auditorium, and that's building 112 on campus. It's pretty easy to find. It's uh, right next to the bookstore and the student center. So it's it's pretty easy to find, and all the classes and the studios and stuff are set up in there. Um, we're going to start off with a short video for the Fine Arts Department. So for my favorite class, it have to be painting that I had last semester, actually. I had never worked with oils before, so I have to say that was definitely eye-opening for me and it really allowed me to see what I can do. In fine arts, we offer degrees in art, commercial art, music, and drama. The students really enjoy taking the design communications classes, which focus on uh, Illustrator or Photoshop or other digital art uh, platforms. And then um, I would say the drawing classes are also, we have a drawing one and two and then life drawing. Um, and then uh, we offer a lot of other classes too, like arts, metals, and ceramics. We have music appreciation, music literature. We have uh, band classes where we teach jazz and we have vocal classes. We have um, independent study courses where students get to work one-on-one uh, -on -one with instructors. We offer classes in introduction to theater and voice for theater and acting. Um, we have independent study courses for those uh, more advanced students that are trying to do internships or maybe um, performance credit. Um, we offer from time to time a stagecraft class and a costume class. Students at CTC who graduate with an associate degree in fine arts can go on to a four-year college if they'd like to get a bachelor's degree. Um, or uh, some of them may go ahead and start working in their field. Usually what we have are students who transfer into a four-year college after that, and then they'll go on to get their bachelor degree, and then possibly go on to a master's degree too. Come visit with us in the Fine Arts Department. I think you'll find something interesting for yourself. Um, as he said in the video, primarily these associate's degrees in fine arts programs are geared to uh, prepare the student for transfer and the completion of their chosen bachelor's degrees. Um, I think we have a little bit of time, so we can kind of look at some of the stuff that you can go into, some of the jobs that are available with these degrees. Um, obviously, you know, writer, author, talent director, actors, producers, directors, um, artists, film, short films. There's definitely a lot of opportunity for people making short films and videos and YouTube and all that stuff nowadays. Um, for musicians, I mean, musician, obviously, uh, music editor, music educator, and um, sound engineer technicians. And then... Uh, multimedia artists and animators. I know that's a lot of people that are call into the art department. That's what they're looking for is animation and doing stuff like that. Uh, graphic designer and then commercial industrial designer. Um, if you have any information about the fine arts programs uh, or classes that are offered, you can contact us at 254-526-1572 or contact the program coordinators directly at their emails. And I'll give you all a minute to write those down if you want to write down a specific one. Um, they're really good about getting back to people and giving you any information you may want about the certain program or certain classes that are offered. And um, were there any questions at this time before we move past fine arts? I didn't see on the thing. No? Yeah. yeah. Um. 
Then we'll go into the, the liberal arts and humanities portions of AHM, which are the social sciences, and it's an associate of arts. Uh, this program is located in the academic building, which is room or building 104. Uh, and you can see it's a cool little building that's um, separated by a walkway in between. Um, the social sciences degree is ideal for students interested in a bachelor's degree or higher in any of the following disciplines. And this covers history, government, psychology, economics, sociology, philosophy, anthropology, and geography. Um, these are some of the professions that they have that you can go into with these degrees. Um, you can see they're pretty high paying there. Um, some more potential professions, secondary school teachers, school psychologists. Um, if you're interested in psychology, there's also the Psi Beta, um, which is National Honor Society Program in Psychology, and you can um, join up with that. Uh, any information, or if you need more information on that, you can reach them at 254 526 1274. And these are their department and program coordinators if you want to contact them directly for more information. And I'll give you a minute to write those down as well. Uh, another humanities portions of the AHM um, is modern languages. Um, modern languages is part of the communications department at CTC and falls under the humanities um, section. The, communi mm. the communications department is located in academic building 104, so it's the same building um, that we talked about there. Um, just some of the modern languages according to FlexJobs that you would want to maybe look into to consider um, that are good for careers for the future, Spanish, French, German, Mandarin, and Arabic. Um, and with these degrees, you can go into healthcare professional, translator, hospitality manager, teacher, journalist, flight attendant, technician, technical consultant, marketing manager, and social worker. These are all real helpful in these um, fields. For more information on the degree in modern languages, you can contact the communications office at 254-526-1239 or you can contact the coordinator directly, um, will.heath at ctc.edu. Um, and now we'll move into the media portion of AHM, which includes communication and media technology, as well as graphics and printing. Um, so we'll start off by looking at the communication and media technology. Uh, there is a Facebook group you can join uh, that they kind of post up um, videos that they're working on, scripts of play or scripts of movies and stuff that are out now, as well as other um, like audition. Uh, casting calls for short movies and stuff that they're working on in the department. Um, some of the classes that are offered are introdu Introduction to Mass Communication, Video Production 1 and 2, Audio Production, Radio and Television Announcing, and Radio and Television News. And some of the ways, and um, Television Production, Radio Broadcasting, Digital Production, Voice Training, and Media Writing, these are the kind of overview of what you're doing, but you actually take these classes to get to work on these kind of um, specific, specificities, specificities. We'll get to, I'll get there. And this um, is located in building 109. There's a big satellite dish out front. You can't miss it. Um, primarily, these associate degrees in communications and media technologies are geared to prepare students for transfer and completion of your bachelor degree. So you'd get this, and then you would move forward um, and some of the places you can go, University of Texas, Texas A&M, Texas Tech, Baylor, University of North Texas. Um, and if you just wish to go to your employment after getting your um, associates, you can go into some of the jobs you can go into are digital content producer, marketing, public relations, television and radio, film and music, social media content. Um, if you have any questions about this, you can contact 
the CMT office at 254-526-1343 or contact the program coordinator directly. And his email is here if you need to write it down. And that's Sean Greenvener. And now we'll move on to the graphics and printing, which is part of the media as well. Um, in, graphics and printing, in graphics and printing, the arts and media of AHM include Adobe and Design, Photoshop and Illustrator, Photo Manipulation and Restoration, Logo Decals and T-Shirt Design, Wide Format Printing, Digital and Offset Printing, Screen Printing, and more. And we'll actually watch a little bit of video to show what they have to offer. Every class in this department would have to be topography. Uh, I consider myself a, a movie buff, so to be given the opportunity to uh, make a movie poster that was authentic looking uh, was an exciting opportunity for me. This is the Graphics and Printing Technology Department in the Industrial Technology Vocational Skills Center. Uh, we teach graphics and printing, which is the Adobe Suite, Photoshop, and Design Illustrator, and printing, offset, web format printing, and screen printing. We offer our Certificate Level 1 degree, which is a basic graphic design degree, or certificate, and then we also uh, offer a Level 2 certificate for graphic design and printing, and an Associates of Applied Science degree. Uh, once you graduate with a Certificate Level 2, you're able to enter um, the entry-level jobs for a graphic designer or a print technician, and once you achieve your associate's degree, you're able to do an entry level, but also advance in your occupation or to apply for um, more than an entry level job in graphic design or as a print technician. We are an open entry program that is based on competency-based um, completion. So you can choose your own class times, pick the days you want to come in, um, you learn on your own pace. We do hands-on training, and we have a really great environment here. We all get along like a big family, and you get to use the equipment once you've learned it. You get to design posters, business cards, T-shirts, and then you get to print them at the end of the class. So we have a whole lot to uh, hands-on experience for the students to work on while they're here. So yeah, that um, is the graphics and art, graphic arts and printing section. Uh, it's a creative industry where you can apply your passion for art. Um, some of the degrees offered are the certificates of completion level one and the certificate of completion level one press operations, as well as the certificate of completion level two and the graphics and printing technology and associates of applied science. Um, some of the jobs you can look forward to with this degree plan is a graphic designer, a pre-press technician or a multimedia artist and animator. Um, and this program is offered in the Career and Technology Education Building, which is building 119, it's room 111. This is the building over beside the, um, I just totally had a brain slip here. Um, so the science. The science, yes, yep, science, science building. building. Um, if you have any more information for them, you can contact the Skills Center counselor at 254-526-1549 or the actual Industrial Technology Building at 254-526-1235 or 1399. And uh, their email is here. And that does it for the arts, humanities, and media, unless there's any questions anybody has. So if anybody, so if anybody has any questions, questions, please uh, go ahead and type them into the chat. It would be great if you would let us know uh, what degree pro program you're interested in. And, um, and maybe if you have any questions about how uh, the programs are gonna be working, 
for those of you that maybe um, <clears throat> have already gone to previous presentations, you'll know. Oh, Matt, you're sharing me. Don't me. Um, <laughs> for for those of you that um, that uh, have gone to other presentations, you will know that things are a little bit different this semester. Pretty much most of the work will be online, either through online classes, which everything is done online, or the synch uh, synchronous virtual learning so that you will be meeting with a professor at a specific date and time uh through uh the computer and through a platform like blackboard uh for example and you will meet at that time you will get your information for the class and uh, but however there are some of these programs like the graphics and printing that will require for you to actually do most of the work online that has to do uh more of the informational part and but you might have to actually come in to do the, the the lab work however the lab work um yes you'll be doing it here but you will have to make uh, an appointment for a specific time as to when you're going to come in for the lab work uh, i have a question here graphics design is that also including digital arts well they're they're slightly different um i was wondering matthew can you talk do you, are you more familiar with digital art um because it's a little bit different um, I don't know if you are or not, but um, graphics design, it, it covers more of, um, it's very similar. So you will create like posters, t-shirts and things like that, where um, digital arts goes into a little bit more in creating things that are gonna be put out digitally. So that means more like through video and, and other, me, the media, um, what, the way that it's presented, it's slightly different where um, graphics design, you have a little bit more of the, the printing and paper on t-shirts uh, and other other things that you actually print something to where, um, and some of it can just be uh, digital, but when you go to digital arts, it could be uh, a little bit more animated in, in what you're doing and it's only offered pretty much the, you're gonna show it through the computer. Um, and we, one of them is offered through the fine arts department. The other one is offered through the industrial technology. So we do have both. It's just that it's a little bit, uh, it's a little bit different. And let me see what, so is that also, yes, we do have, um, I could probably look up for the digital I could get up the websites back up for you. I can send you the website so you can look at both. Um, any other questions while I look those two uh, different degree plans up? It would be great if you go ahead and ask the questions and then uh, we can go ahead and um, and answer them. Let me see. So let me do this is graphics and printing. I'm going to give you. Let me go ahead and put in here the website for graphic and printing because I have that one right now. And then the other one was digital. And that is through fine arts department. I believe. And I don't let me see. I'm gonna give you the fine arts um web page and then you can kind of browse through that. Oh because it's pretty much one class and uh, Professor Stanley, can you go ahead and um, kind of could you put in the chat box, please, the the emails for the point of contacts? I'll go ahead and put the one for the graphics and printing, but I don't know if you could get the email for the other one. Um, yeah, I know I saw it in your presentation, but I don't remember right off the top of my head. Um, for graphics, 
you can contact Bobby Waddle at bwaddle at ctcd.edu. And um, Professor Stanley, if you could get the other person's email, there it is, Visual Commercial Art, Regina Allen. Thank you. That's what I wanted. Um, what other, any other questions with regards to how these programs, fine arts, the communications, um, the classes? Um, anybody want to share what you might be interested in and maybe if we can focus on something that you guys might actually be interested in? You can type it in the chat box, that'd be great. No, maybe music. Ah, great. So, um, music is part of the finance department. And, um, <clears throat> if let me, let me go ahead and share this real quick and share my website. And so for music, we have these are the main programs of study that we have. Um, the great thing about music is that we will, um, every student pretty much, and, and for most of these classes, you're gonna need to take some of the, at least one or more of these classes as if you're interested in, in any um, associate's degree. However, um, music specifically, let me show you the degree plan that, oh, it's not there. Okay. But with music, I can show it through a different way. Um, let me go to the catalog. Because I know I can get it through the catalog. It's a it's a little bit longer way, but we can do it. So find the here we go. Make sure I go to. Okay, so these are the degree plans for through the fine arts, but specifically music. Here we have the Associates of Arts degree, and make it a little bit lower. And if you notice, you're going to have to take various music classes as well as the core curriculum to be able to um, complete your associates in art in uh, fine arts in music. So you're going to still need to take your math, your Englishes, um, history, governments, um, but a lot of it is having to do with music appreciation, singing, piano. You will have individual instruction at some point. A lot of the classes, it looks like it's a lot of classes, but a lot of these are just one credit classes. Um, and then you're going to also have to look, learn about music literature, theory, um, sight, uh singing and ear training um and just uh, a lot of music theory as well so what this is going to do is it's going to help you eventually hopefully the plan is to help you be ready for whenever you have to go to um if you want to continue maybe into education or having your you know become a musician yourself this is going to give you a lot of that core trait basic training that every every musician should have and that you need to, um, you, you should be aware of if you're going to be in the music industry, whether it be um, working with a, a famous musician, you're going to be the famous musician, working with students, teaching in the future, this is still going to give you all that uh, core that you're going to need. And then you can take this and then move over to a four year school and get your degree, your bachelor's degree that way. Okay. And uh, Professor Stanley has put in there uh, the point of contact for the music department. It's Professor Celinda Hallbauer, and he included her uh, email there. She is the one who oversees the music department, the music section of the department, and she can definitely help you um, get a better idea as to how things work and uh, kind of guide you through the process of getting your degree. Any other questions? 
Anything? This, now is the time. Drama. Okay, now we're talking. So let's look at drama. And actually, that is Professor Stanley's uh, main section. So uh, if you want to come in, you are welcome to help. Can you hear me again? Yes. Okay, good. Uh, what specific? Do you have any specific questions on trauma? Um, we do offer from one and two uh, interests. You'll make short films, history of theater, voice for theater. Any specific questions? Um, I'm gonna uh, while while she puts her thoughts together. Um, I just want to show real quick the degree plans. There's multiple ones. Um, because we have the associate of arts and that's general drama. Um, and you can see that the classes there are more uh, generic when it comes to drama it includes the acting and history of theater, et cetera, script analysis. Um, but then you also have, uh, <clears throat> associates of art that has a specialty in and design in more of the design and technical part of it. So, um, you see more of the stagecraft, um. Theater practicum and, and script analysis as well, academic cooperative. So basically, you're going to be working uh, more closely with being able to create, um, create the look uh, of um, of of the act of what you're going to see when it comes to acting, not just acting. Um, and then we have the actual performance, which is what we think of more traditionally of a performer, somebody going out there and being an actor. And so that one has a little bit more of that focus where you have the acting, the stagecraft, um, the, uh, and you're gonna have to do your practicum where you're actually creating and acting in, in a play. Usually we have a production going on every, sem every semester and uh, I think most of the students that are in the performance section actually work on that play to make sure that um, it becomes, you know, it's successful and that's where you get a lot of your practical. Actually, all of the drama parts work really closely so that they can get some hands on experience. And I think that's where um, you come in, isn't it? Professor Stanley? Uh, yeah, um, I, I work with the building the sets, doing the sound design and everything. Um, and to answer your question, the actual shows, I think what they're working on this semester is a, a one act play. They're still wanting to do a one act show this semester. Um, but I guess, you know, that'll kind of play out depending on how the semester goes with everything reopening up and everything. But yeah, they are looking at doing a one act show. Um, you have the stagecraft class, which will. We would build the set for that show. Lights. We have new light, brand new lighting system that we haven't gotten to use yet since everything's been shut down. Um, but you'll learn this brand new lighting system. Um, they're working on getting us a new stage actually right now. Um, so it's going to be an exciting semester. But we, you know, yeah, we're working on a one act show this semester. And usually, um, pretty much every semester, they do have a show. So yeah, we, have a sh we do have a show every semester. We try to do short plays in the summer. And if uh, the people in the academic co-op class that she was talking about, if they're focused more on directing, we will even do um, like 10 minute plays throughout the semester so that you could work on how to direct and that as well. And um, the my favorite part is that these shows are actually once they're you know ready to be shown, they're actually shown to the world. We they uh, invite the community to come and see. And I don't in one of the videos that um, that Professor Stanley showed, they actually uh, was part of one of those productions, I believe. Yeah, the one where she had the whole um, body burns and everything um, was a play we did three semesters ago. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So um, definitely get some experience. And I know for a fact that we, at least one of your students has gone on to work in Viva La Arts and some of the other. Yeah, um, we definitely are trying to, we have, we have a lot of people have gone from Viva La Arts here in Colleen, um, Temple, Temple Civic Theater. Um, we have one alumni that's actually starting at the um, Pace in New York. 
who just graduated from CDC a couple years ago. Um, so there's definitely it's definitely a good place to learn and, and jump off. Okay, awesome. Any other questions? Please feel free to type them in. You've had some uh, great, uh, great questions. And so we want to make sure that we have them. If not, we will wrap it up. But I want to give everybody a chance to ask questions before we do that. Um, let me stop sharing my screen here. But yeah, if um, if at any point anybody is interested or has any questions, please feel free to contact us. Let us uh, know um, what we'll do is we'll make sure that we get a hold of somebody that can help you. This is a pretty big cluster in the sense that it has a lot of very uh, small components. It has a lot of components that are pretty big. Um, each component is big, but if you're interested, even in the in the art, you know, not just in the fine arts, but in the communications video, um, media, technology, all of that. Uh, we have all of that available for you. And so, you know, if one thing doesn't suit you and it's just, it's all very similar, you know, it feels kind of similar, but maybe if you start one path and then you go, okay, this is nice, but I want to maybe explore a little bit more then we have options for you. Just think about it that way. And if nothing else, remember, you can just take you pretty much most degree plans require some sort of humanities or fine arts. And so you will have to take one or more of these courses in this cluster to be able to finish almost pretty much every single associate's degree. And if you wanna do a bachelor's degree, then definitely you're gonna to have to take some, actually multiple ones of these because you're, you know, a lot of bachelors require languages. They definitely require one or more fine arts uh, options. And so, feel free to contact the professors and the departments and ask questions about how the classes are going to be and um, and get the ball rolling. Anything else? I don't, let me see if, if I have anything else. Okay, it looks like we don't have any other burning questions. We'll, I'm going to go ahead and say thank you to everybody for participating. Um, I look forward to uh, hearing from all of you and seeing how you how um, how you progress through the semesters. Uh, I know that maybe I haven't been able to see you now. You guys get to see me and I don't know who you, you I don't get to see y'all, but if at some point you have any questions, you see me around or if you need my email, I'm going to go ahead and plug that in also in the chat below so that if you do have questions, you are welcome to email me and I will do my best to answer it. If I cannot answer it for some reason, I will make sure to forward it to somebody who can and uh, try to get you the answers that way. All right, um, thank you very much to Professor Stanley and to everybody who has participated, this is great. And uh, the next, uh, the next uh, presentation is gonna be for public service. And I am going to also type in here the link if you want to join us. Uh, so, uh, like S B C. You're welcome to join us in that one. And that one is going to start at 430. So approximately 1 hour and I hope that you will actually come and join us. Thank you very much and you have a good day. Thank you, Professor Stanley.